My name is Sue Gwen Chung. I'm an artist and researcher and artistic director of Silicet, a studio exploring human and non-human collaboration. So my mother's a programmer and my father's a musician. And I think this has me really interested in this idea of hybridity, in particular, I, hybridity through art and technology. And through some of these interests, I found myself at the MIT Media Lab, building my first collaborative robot. In my practice in art and technology, I'm really engaged in the promises, possibilities, and paranoias uh, manifested by developments in art, technology, and science. I believe these developments are changing what it means to be human, and I'm really driven by curiosity about what that can mean for generations that came before and generations to come. In my practice, I see art and engineering practices as one and the same. Both fields have the potential to uncover something real about the human condition and I think are grounded in an exploratory process of speculation and discovery. I work with robotics, AI systems, data, and mixed reality as drawing, performance, sculpture, and installation. I'm really inspired by how we think about the idea of a human and of a machine. And I'm really curious about where AI ends and we begin. In the past few decades of technology development, I design what I like to think of as sensory mixes of the future. I've been working on a project called Drawing Operations Unit, generation one to five for like the past eight, almost nine years. Its focus has really been on the potential of human and machine collaboration. In generation two, we focused on exploring memory by training a machine learning model on two decades of my own drawing data. In Generation 5, Design Over the Pandemic, I thought about my own meditation practice as a kind of creative catalyst and substrate. I used my own biofeedback recorded through meditation to generate EEG data as drivers for robotic movement in my own painting process. I like to think of it as waves of my mind to lines on a canvas. My most recent work is called Flora Rearing Agricultural Network, FRAN for short, a project exploring human, plant, and machine co-naturality. The work speculates at what I like to think of as an interdependent ecosystem of human, machine, and flora, and explores the linkages between machine and ecology through the development of a networked robotic system stewarding nature. In my practice, I work with and develop a range of technologies. I work with robotics as collaborative partners, machine learning as drivers for painting movements, and EEG to create systems of biofeedback. I'm interested in how research-driven processes, algorithmic systems, and custom computer vision software offer new and speculative human and machine configurations. Using custom and existing research for artistic purposes, means extending the possibilities of the research beyond fixing a problem or asking a specific question into a more speculative, playful arena that engages new research prompts, as well as new conditions for philosophical inquiry. The drawing operations work as an intergenerational art and research project evolves conceptually, technically, and philosophically with the growing role of technology in our lives. I like to frame it as a collaboration because it really foregrounds the relational dynamics between human and machine and technology and society. I'm curious about this question of agency within systems and think of the practice and these projects as a microcosm to consider the wider implications of things like technological governance and its entangled relationship to the human subject. It's so hard to make predictions about even five years down the road. And I think we've seen how quickly over the past few years life can really change in an instance. But I hope that the field of human and machine collaboration is increasingly understood and grown as 
a site of invention and of promise, one that extends a diversity of subjects and points of view. I'm really hopeful about this because it means that we're working towards this transformation of the human and machine in our environment. Um, and I think that as an interdisciplinary aim um, is really powerful.